all right so we are going to move along and in this video what we are going to do is get the basic events listed on a page so before we do that we need to change one small thing in our app service dot app service provider which is schema um it is default string length i think 191 that's something which is also mentioned on the laravel docs as well so we need to add that i think this is the one yeah so this is typical utf8 mb4's character uh, support which has emojis so that's why we need to do that and once that is done what we will do is quickly touch upon the migration file which we have already created okay so let's say inside database migrations we have this right so let's see what are the fields that we would require in order to you know get started with events obviously we need a title we will use a string for that okay and then one more string for the address this is going to be the text then we will store the description of the event okay so let's create a column text we'll have description in there so we have address as well then we need lat long so oops table um this is going to be float latitude 10 comma 6 okay and the longitude okay this is something which i have taken reference from google uh google's you know places example where they store the place information as latitude longitude to show the restaurant so yeah we are going with that then we need two date fields uh, one will be start date the start date of the event and the second will be end date of the event and then one unsigned integer user underscore id so unsigned integer means it will be all integers and it should not have zero okay and we know this is going to be the same case because we are always going to refer to a primary key in the users table and just for performance benefit we will add an index to the user underscore id because many times we would be showing with the i mean you know we will be writing the conditions with user id so we may want to add that okay so now this is done so let's quickly now go to uh sorry factories and we'll create the factory for our event okay and so let me get rid of everything in here i don't need this and event class okay so with that done what do we need to do in the uh, factory so we'll have title let's quickly add that okay title then we have description address latitude longitude start date end date is right okay now let's quickly use faker to get some information in here so this is going to be sentence okay and then this is going to be paragraph then add 
this one. All right, now we need some dates, right? So what we can do is, uh, carbon, now add days to it. random element from the array so okay just like that and we need the end date as well okay copy add days again okay i think we are missing a bracket so let's see yeah Okay, so this is done. Um, start it, and then we would format it so that it's Y M D, and same goes for end date Y M D. And now for the user, what we will do is use factory to create a user. Okay. Uh, so import class and create a user and return the ID okay so this takes care of the uh, event model factory now I think you know, I have uh, so I think I need to refresh my migrations a bit so let's see php artisan migrate refresh okay so i should now have a blank uh, database yeah right everything is clean so what we can do is let's go into tinker and let's see factory All right, so we have this. Now the only thing which we need to do is, um, okay, we have a user and we have one event. Um, we need to add that relationship with the, with the user and the event. So inside user, no, inside event. Uh, we'll go and create a function which is creator, okay. And we'll, define a relation which is this belongs to user class okay, and we'll also define the foreign key which is user id okay and what we should also do is in user i was previously planning not to do that but yeah we should ideally uh, we'll have this relation as well which is events for that user okay so this is return this has many okay so with that done i think if we do something like app event uh, sorry modules event event colon find one with user oops first what is the problem what oh, uh, I need to restart tinker I think yeah, still not doing that call to undefined relation user on model this oh sorry it's creator and not user now what user not found okay so I think I haven't imported the class and that's the problem do i need to restart again maybe yeah so if you see what do we have we have the entire title description lat long 
and everything in here and then the creator object which is the user object so yeah right we are now set to move on okay and what we will do is why don't we create at least um event class yes why don't we do around 20 events all right in our database we have events and we have users okay so yeah we have some data to pull in now very quickly we will just uh, you know create the con uh, route and write the uh, url where the data will be shown so events so our controller is inside the events so event controller at the rate we will name it index we'll name the route as events okay and yeah so let's go into our controller okay so i think it's wrong name events controller hmm. okay what am i doing let us see i think i created the controller event controller oh, so we have this and here we will create the index function okay let us assume that what we are going to do is return a view okay so return view events dot uh, yeah, events dot event dash list okay that is the name of the view which we are going to return now we will need upcoming events okay so event um I'll query where end date is greater than um, let's say we have a date so today it is going to be carbon no not now today and then we'll format it so format y m d okay and we'll pass it here so upcoming events are events where the end it is more than greater than today and then we'll order by start date descending get okay well get all the events we will show all of them no pagination nothing uh, and past events okay we will show few let's say three so event where um, again end date is less than today okay and I'll format it oh sorry we don't format it that's already done above so um order by again start date this is ascending okay uh, let it be descending okay both the same bring it down and then get uh rather we'll have a limit three All right, so we have these two. Let us pass that into the view as well with upcoming events. Okay, and with past events. Past events. Okay, so I'll take this down. Take this down as well. Now, quickly. Uh, so inside events or rather event we'll have event list dot blade dot php okay i don't have a layout as of now so we will keep it simple um we will do an a for each loop okay at the rate upcoming events and and for each in that for now let's just look at the title only hmm. what happened to this thing oh, 
sir. Okay, so yeah, we will be just printing out the titles, right? So if I go here, events invalid argument exception. Okay, so the event list file was not found, is it? Uh, we are inside event and then just here. Now it should work. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. There is no markup. Um, I need some kind of a template. Um, so HTML dot blade dot PHP. We will have the basic stub in here and the container and in that content container let's make a content container and in that we will do at the rate yield content in here pick it up at the rate extends html okay and then add the section and now because we are doing the template why don't we do some basic level of markup so that it looks decent when we import the bootstrap class so although i don't have it right now but we will invariably do that uh, so let's add some markup okay we'll have this dev column sm8 call sm push to okay and then we'll have one h1 which will say upcoming events okay and then uh, i'll have bootstrap panel in here okay and this entire thing will be in for each loop so in here and then let's see what all things do we need um, we need h3 panel heading which will print out the title okay then in small we'll have upcoming event uh, address okay that's all in the heading and now why don't we do, do one small thing and here mm, okay actually this is going too long and the view should have been handled in the next video so what i'll do is just print the description for now and let's see okay so we have some bit of markup in here okay we have a decent enough listing and in the next video we are going to look at how to set up the layouts and, and in a better way install bootstrap css which is pretty much there out of the box and move ahead okay so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel